Hi, I'm Phyllis. Uh, my website is southernfrugal.com. Tonight, or rather this afternoon, I did a video showing uh, putting some of the ground uh, popcorn on the uh, little spinach type casserole. It really wasn't a casserole, it was just frozen spinach that was cooked with uh, Parmesan cheese and some of this popcorn and it did taste a little bit like popped corn. So I went ahead and popped another thing of the Orville Redenbacher's popcorn. This is the one with the butter taste in it. So I wanted to go ahead and do a video and show you all how I ground it up. Now I have not done it in a blender but I have done it in the Vitamix. So I'm not sure it would work with a blender. But I wanted to do it, uh, hopefully some of y'all can come up with some recipes to use this in. Now I tried it in uh, making cornbread last week because I wanted the cornbread to taste more like popcorn. It did not, okay, it didn't taste, I couldn't tell it was even in there. So that, that part didn't work. I could tell that, that I had sprinkled it on the top of the spinach, but it also had Parmesan cheese on there. So it was just a very faint taste of pop, popcorn, popped popcorn, yeah. So I'm going to do it again and show you all how I ground it up. Now, the Vitamix will grind up totally. I mean, it'll be, well, y'all can see that it's got, uh, let's see if I can get it close and let y'all, it's got some little specks in it where the husk and all that is ground up. Now, uh, someone wrote in and said they had heard of grinding uh, popcorn before it was popped, but I like the taste of it when it when it's popped. So that's the taste I was trying to capture. So I was thinking if I did a video showing y'all how I ground it up, that some of y'all uh, could maybe come up with some way to use it. Now uh, here's here's what I have tried. You see that? That's a little square of cheese and I actually just wet the cheese and rolled it around in there after I had put the cheese in the microwave for just seconds to get it soft and guess what it tastes like. You know those, I don't know what you call them, Cheez-Its, those things that make your hands all orange. I love the way they taste it. Some kind of corn popped and they rolled in cheese or something. Uh, but anyway, it makes your hands orange. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So that's the taste you get from this. And this is just a little square like that of cheddar cheese. And I, I wet it and just a little bit so it'd be damp and rolled it in this. I put it in the microwave, got it melted a little bit, and then rolled it again. Can you all see that? There it is. Yeah, and, and it definitely tastes like, I think they call them Cheez-Its or something. I haven't bought those in years, but I do remember I liked them, but they make a really big mess on your hands. So there must be many other things we could use this for. I just can't think of any right now. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I ground it up. And of course, I use the body mix. Now, it might work uh, grinding up in a blender. I just am not sure. So I'm going to dump about half this in my Vitamix. Just about half of it. I did shake it and make sure uh, the seeds that didn't pop maybe were at the bottom. Although most of them I think did pop. And by the way, in my microwave, it doesn't. Even, it takes about a minute and maybe mm, 30 to 40 seconds to pop this. All right, so we're going to grind it out now. It's going to be noisy, but I want y'all to see this. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me cut my lights on. Get these lights underneath me. There. Give you more light. Now, now I'm going to grind it up. It's going to be noisy, but I want to show y'all how it works. All right, here we go. I can hear there's a seed in there, but that doesn't make any difference. So what I'm going to do now is turn it on so I'm going to pulse it to get it down in there. So, all right, here we go. All right, so now I'm 
going to have to do some stirring to get it to uh, all get down in there. Boy, does that smell good. Mm, I love popcorn. All right, here we go again. Now, you don't want to do it too much because you don't want it to get, you know, hot and whatever. And this stuff, I promise you, it, it like floats in the air. It really will. All right, here we go. See? Did y'all see that floating? All right, here we go. Just keep stirring it down like that. super super light I mean you just can't even believe how light it is you can just like oops see did y'all see that you can just I'm blowing it on my counter y'all all right see that little bit watch this now I hope you can see that see it just blows off it's super super light all right so I'm gonna dump this out in a bag and I'm gonna do the rest of the bag I only did half of it now and we'll be back, okay? All right, as y'all can see, I got it all ground up. This is how much it makes. That would be one pack of the Orville Rettenbucker uh, popcorn that you pop in the microwave. Now, what to do with this? And it, by the way, it just smells fantastic. So, what I wanted to ask y'all is if you could come up with some ideas, that would be fantastic. I've tried to think of some, and uh, you know, when I put it in the corn bread batter that I was making, you you couldn't taste it after it was cooked. So uh, I know you could roll stuff in it, but now this stuff is just as light as a feather. In fact, my Vitamix, the the little fan on the bottom of it, blew some of it back on my counter. It did, so it's super light. But I'm thinking could you make corn tortillas with this? Because I don't like that taste that's imparted in the corn tortillas because they soak the corn, it's like veal corn, in a lime solution, kind of like if you were making pickles, that's the kind of lime it is. And it, 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 it gives it a different taste. I mean, you still tell it's corn, but that little taste is what I don't like. And I would very much like for the corn tortillas to taste like popcorn. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, it's such an authentic corn taste. And uh, anyway, so I, I hope y'all will try this. And uh, I don't know if it'll work in a blender or not, but it certainly did work in the Vitamix. And if you come up with some ideas that you have tried now, don't just tell me an idea and then I gotta try it all because I'm gonna be trying stuff of my own. But if y'all uh, grind it up and try using it in something where it works and it still tastes like popcorn. Y'all leave it in the comments or wherever and at some point maybe we can get to the bottom of this and come up with some good stuff. Now I was even thinking if you added butter to it, maybe a teeny bit of water and make a pie crust with it, make some kind of uh, Mexican pie with it or or maybe not, maybe something I don't know, I can't even think of any, it's late. I can't even think of anything. But I have been racking my brain uh, to try to come up with some way that I could use it. Uh, another way, I think, I, well, I don't know. I, 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 I'm just kind of spent on trying to come up with ideas to how to use this. So I do know, as you can see, on the date 924, 
uh, I definitely uh, froze this just because I wanted to keep it fresh. And when I opened it, it smells exactly like corn popping. You know how it smells up your whole house? That's what this still smells like after it's been frozen. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and freeze this and I'll be trying some stuff. Uh, again, my making the cornbread was not a success. It just tastes like regular cornbread to me. Uh, but I'm going to be trying some things and see what I can come up with. And if y'all come up with something that you have tried and it worked, y'all leave a comment and tell us about it because I just really, uh, I love the taste of pop. But y'all know how when you smell popcorn and you think, man, I wish I could capture that taste or smell, yeah. And uh, that I felt that way. I just love popcorn and it just seems to me there ought to be some other way that we could use it in cooking recipes and all. It just seems like there ought to be a way. All right, y'all. I will see y'all next time. Come up with some ideas. Thanks. Bye.